Hey everyone, today we are going to see about the lookup and uh, verify uh, activity. When a business customer interacts with an agent, the interaction must be logged with the verification that customer is known uh, the business contact. So uh, we are going to see about these uh, things in the accounts table. Let's get into the video. Now I can go to the lookup and verify. So if I type configuration, you can see under lookup and verify, you have the configuration. You go to the configuration. So this is our lookup and verify configurations table. Now uh, we can click the contact uh, lookup. So here you can see you, 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 are, you may not be editable because of the, we need to change the scope CSM lookup verify application. So, can change the scope in here. Again, you can refresh this page so you can have this uh, access to very uh, change the uh, uh, table uh, data. So now you can overwrite this uh, uh, the uh, type uh, type head search as three. We can activate this now and say uh, save this before you can save you need to uh, check the secondary fields as account uh, we need to change like uh, let me open it and uh, we can change like a uh, business phone we can remove other things we keep email account business phone allowed so this is a business phone we can make it in here. We can lock it now. And then in the verification card uh, as well, you can change uh, account, email, business phone, and then uh, time zone. Other than that, you can remove other things. You can take the time zone unlock this we can save now so each agent that serves b2b customer is a customer service support group member so which uh, assigns them uh, the customer service agent sn underscore customer service underscore agent that is the role uh, the customer service agent role grants an agent access to the interactions and a related lookup and verify functionality so we, we just want to go to the groups. Let's go to the groups table. Under user administration, you have this groups table. You can go to the to go go in here in this group list. Uh, you can search for uh, customer service support. So customer service support. So this is our customer service support record. You can have this role list. You can see the cus SN underscore customer service agent already pre-populated so you can just uh, take the manager role customer contact manager this is the role we should need to mention it and you can save this now you can go to the workspaces and you can verify it now let's verify uh, with uh, John Jason, he is in uh, customer service uh, group. So we can impersonate him and we can go to the FSM configurable workspace. Click this new interaction. So the type as phone, account can be anything uh, whatever we need to give we can give it the contact robert Turner.
any 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 person's name you can give so once we give it you can save this once we save you can click this contact verify so here you can able to see jenna baroness account details account uh, so we have created we have created the uh, interaction so the details has been uh, shown in this uh, contact verify so we, whatever the uh, details we filled in here it, it will be populated in here as well so you can verify and if we want to create this contact you can click this create contact so here you can make the name as so the management English email whatever she is having we can provide it so let's check it in the access user table we should give a valid email id So once we give it, you can and you can provide the you can save this one as well. And click dismiss all. So now you can see this has been verified. So that's how uh, we need to create the interaction in here. So. That's how the lookup and verify is working. We will see you uh, in a different topic in the uh, next class. Thank you.